February, I welcomed my Green Party colleague, Minister Roderick O'Gorman, to Port Leash to unveil a powerful pride mural in Lister Square to mark one year of the Midlands LGBT Plus project. After the Leash launch in summer 2021, Midlands LGBT Plus identified the huge need for similar support for people in Offaly, Kildare and beyond. In response to this, the group has expanded their services to Offaly and at the weekend, they arrived with a splash of colour at their launch event in Tullamore, and I was lucky enough to attend. <clears throat> their mission is to reduce isolation for adult LGBT plus persons living in the Midlands. They run a number of virtual and in-person peer support groups, such as their Leash Social Group, Trans Midland and Queer Book Club, as well as lots of LGBT plus events through the year. They also provide training to businesses and community groups and deliver school workshops. And while we are lucky to have organisations like Midlands LGBT Plus in Leash and Offaly, nobody should experience isolation because of how they identify. Yet tragic and violent events in Dublin and Sligo recently tell us that we still have a lot left to do. The LGBT Plus community has the right to feel safe and be safe in their homes, on our streets and online. Research by the Hate and Hostility Research Group at the University of Limerick identified that one in five of those surveyed had been punched, hit or physically attacked in public for being LGBT and one in three had been threatened with physical violence. We must change this now and it is for all of society to deal with. I'm grateful that Councillor Mark Hackett is pursuing the issue of gender-based violence at council level in Offaly and is doing this through the Joint Policing Committee and I wish that subgroup all the best with their important work. It is 2022 and Ireland still does not have hate crime legislation and the law on incitement to hatred dates back to 33 years ago but thankfully legislation is on its way to change this. Hate crimes are message crimes intended to target entire communities. Victims are targeted because of what they represent and the impact of hate crimes goes beyond the single person. Their whole community is affected as well as our wider society. But we as policymakers, as communities, as families and as individuals can play our part in solutions too. So if you see homophobia and transphobia in society, call it out. Never sit idly by, never be silent. If you know someone who is experiencing homophobia or transphobia, encourage and support them to report hate incidents to LGBT Ireland and to the Gardaí. This behaviour cannot be tolerated or normalised. We must stand in power together. We must stand in pride.